Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, right now we've got footies cards everywhere, objectives, SBCs, in packs, and even inside of a brand new player pick that EA dropped yesterday. But what we're excited about today is not even related to a footies pink card. We're talking about one of those new icon cards that we've seen already once in FIFA. We have one of the craziest leaks for a card upcoming. One of the biggest icons in the game might be getting an SBC soon, and we have got to talk about it. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe. If you're new, let's really quickly go over yesterday's content as we always do because speaking of footies cards, EA dropped an absolute W player SBC yesterday and it's a W because it's emotional. A Lucas Podolski premium footies card, not that bad of a price, but I think they gave this card a better stat boost than they have for some of the other footies, which is why they made it a bit more expensive. A five-star, five-star Lucas Podolski, absolute FIFA legend, and guys, I'm going to say it, I did this SBC, I played a couple of games with him, he is very good. The five-star, five-star is insane, his left foot, his shooting, being 99, basically everything, 98 finishing and positioning, but he is insane in terms of shooting, he finishes literally everything especially with that five star weak foot the only thing i will say is i slapped an engine chemistry style on him he's not lengthy he's controlled he felt a little bit slow but he's five star five star he's got great dribbling and passing and shooting stats around the board a great end game footies card and an emotional player fun one for sure i've got no problems with this one not the most upvoted sbc but uh, if you use Podolski in older FIFAs, like I remember in FIFA 21 having him, Royce, and Ozil as foot birthday cards in my team, man, this one just hits different. Absolutely insane card. WSBC, in my opinion, worth a craft if you get extra fodder, which I know is a problem that not a lot of us have right now. Like, uh, you know, a lot of us are saying we need more fodder EA. Fodder prices are going up like crazy. The SBCs in this game keep rolling. Um, and, and yeah, actually a problem is getting fodder at the moment. We'll talk a little bit more about fodder and those prices in today's video. But one of the reasons fodder prices are going up right now in this game is EA dropped another 93 plus player pick yesterday. I can't find it all the way back here at the back. There it is. A 93 plus shapeshifters or footies player pick. We thought the 93 plus shapeshifters pick from last week was pretty good. They added footies into it this time. Man, what an SBC. 81% upvoted. It's around the same prices, but also the exact same requirements. Um, so that's why it's about the same price. The problem here is, though, this is a gamble, right? Podolski, guaranteed card, 250k. You know what you're getting. For 250k here, you're going to get a 1 of 4 player pick for shapeshifters, premium, or regular cards, or footies or for these premium cards, which is a dub because, again, you have the opportunity to pack guys like the Messi, like the Ronaldo, like the Di Maria, some of those other really great cards are in footies like Kessie and stuff like that, and even some of the regular footies cards. Like yesterday on stream, we packed multiple Marco Royce, we packed Griezmann's, and of course, we did pack a lot of like Jensen Fernandez, Insigne, some of those lower tier, lower level cards. But guys, for a upgrade player pick SBC at this stage of the game, having the current footies promo cards that are in packs right now, able to be packed out of that player pick, to me is an absolutely insane W. So GG's to EA for releasing that SBC. It has cooled off some of the prices of those cards. Uh, Griezmann's now under 1.1 mil. Royce is still about 530. Kessie's at 650. Um, and Yaya Torre 2.7 mil. He's not packable from that player pick. It, that player pick does exclude icons and heroes from shapeshifters and footies. Uh, but man, I mean, if there's an SBC that you want to do to try to hit somebody massive and try to hit a footies card or a massive shapeshifters player, we still saw so many people packing Yuris, Martial, De Young, Pogba, those types of players still are able to come out of that player pick. So that's one worth crafting and grinding. If you're getting some packs this weekend and none of the players interest you, that is one to maybe put some of your fodder into. Now, again, like I said, we're going to talk about fodder because today's a really interesting day for the fodder market because of the supply that's going to hit the market, but also because a lot of people want to invest for something that's coming. Yesterday, EA played on words again with another interesting objective player, also Bradley Danger being released. There is some XP involved there, scoring six goals. I already got it done playing a couple of foot champs quality games. Uh, so went from Ferrari to Danger, very interesting. Nice free card. Footies Rodri still better, but I mean, to be honest, that's a free card with a little bit of XP involved there. And that is a GG, honestly, for some fodder in objectives. Now, the big news that is at hand, guys. This came as an absolute surprise out of left field nowhere yesterday. Ronaldinho is leaked to be the next 
cover star icon. We just had an amazing Roberto Carlos cover star where they juiced his stats out of this world, made him club 90, made the SBC expensive, but craftable and attainable, and they gave us a loan version of his card for free. Remember that? They gave us that Roberto Carlos loan pack for free last Friday that was an 85 times 10 with a Brazilian Tots player in it and a loan Roberto Carlos. Are we going to get something like that for Ronaldinho as well? Are we all going to get a free Ronaldinho loan card on Friday? I have to think they might do it differently this time. There's no pack in the code to suggest that yet, but what is this card going to be, right? We know these cover star icons, EA have said they are not going to be in packs. Guys, this Ronaldinho will not be 15 million coins extinct on the market. He's either going to be in SBCs or objectives, and you have to imagine that it's going to be in the SBC section and that this is going to be a stupid expensive SBC, but it's still insanely, insanely hyped. I mean, think about how much they boosted this Roberto Carlos. He's in my team and I'm using this card because he's so good. High, high work rates, 5-5. Five, five. He's club 90 in every stat. The best version of Dino that we have in this game right now is the team of the year icon, which subsequently has dropped off millions of coins in uh, value over the past couple of days because he's been re-released into packs. And right now, this Dino is the cheapest he's ever been. 3.2 million coins as his price continues to drop as people that have this card are selling it because they know a better version is coming out. So we're going to talk about this card a little bit. We're going to watch its price because if they're dropping a new Dino SBC, which guys, I have to imagine this is going to be an SBC. I can't envision a card like this. Even though it is legit August and EA should be giving us stuff right now that's good value to enjoy for the end of the game, I can't imagine this is an objective. It's got to be an SBC in my opinion. Such a big name icon. They're going to give him a nice upgrade as well. Like those stats on that Dino 97 rated could very possibly be what we see in game. And maybe they give him five star, five star as well. What an absolutely nuts card that is going to be. But it's also going to be crazy expensive. Now, for a price, what is this Dino SBC going to cost? For a lot of you guys, you th see this and you're like, Nate, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford it. Well, first of all, they release a loan player inside of every single one of these SBCs, right? The Roberto Carlos SBC even had a loan inside of it. But how much is this going to cost? Let me remind you, we have had the most expensive player SBC this entire FIFA has been 4.8 million coins, Kylian Mbappe's 93 player of the month SBC, which was very overpriced and one of the most downvoted cards in Ultimate Team this entire year because the SBC was just so expensive. And how did that SBC end up panning out? Well, it had 13 different squads and the highest rated squad inside of that was 90 rated. But this was back at a time earlier in the year where fodder was a lot more expensive across the board this year and with this card getting an SBC guys I think it's or that not this year but this SBC I think it's going to be a lot different I think they're going to have to make it even more squads I mean we just had a couple icon SBCs like for Eusebio um, and even before Roberto Carlos came out who else did we have we had Eusebio we had Vieira we had Jarzinho right 10 12 13 squads I have to imagine that this Dino is going to end up being probably about I don't know, 17 to 20 squads. And if I had to put a price tag on this card, how much I think it would be, I would have to say somewhere around 5 million. I really would have to think there's going to be a 5 million or so price tag on this Dino because, I mean, that's kind of where EA have to put it. You know, if you think about it, they're, they know that people are going to spend that much in fodder, which technically... Um, a lot of you guys have been crafting Vieira and Jarzinho and those players. This is the best time of the year for an SBC like this to be crafted. They're giving us 85 times 10s everywhere in objectives and SBCs, uh, even the free ones in the store last week. Maybe they'll do that again somehow this week. They're giving us so many fodder packs that if you put all of your resources into crafting this, you could probably get it done for a lot less than 5 million coins. But I just think that EA can't make this SBC too cheap. Honestly, they have to make it I guess at least somewhat difficult so that a lot of people can't do it because of the level and the quality of what this card is going to end up being. So I think 5 mil is probably a range that you can expect to see for this SBC. And to get to that price, they're going to have to do multiple, I think, 91 and 92 rated squads, which is why I'm very interested in looking at 91 and above rated players. Now, for investing in this stuff, I would only buy these cards ahead of time if you really, really are going to do the SBC right away when it drops on Friday. Because one of the most interesting things about this market right now is 
a lot of your highest rated players in terms of like 93 rated cards or 94 rated cards, right? Your cheapest 93 rated card right now on this game is Angel Di Maria as a team of the season moments card which of course you guys know he's getting packed every single day from the daily tots upgrade pack but with batch two coming out of packs on friday a lot of these cards are going to get re-released back into packs and supplied again most likely team of the seasons are going to be a part of that so that could bring the high tier part of the photo market down a little bit as well at the same time as we maybe have a ronaldinho and i just have to think that if you're somebody who's going to try to do this sbc right away I would have to think that there's going to be more supply for those TOTS cards on the market than demand. So for investing in fodder, guys, I would only buy fodder right now ahead of time if you think you're going to do Dino right away. And if I were to buy any fodder for an investment, I would probably buy the golds, right? Guys like Lewandowski, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, well, Kevin De Bruyne's out of packs, but Lewandowski, Benzema as gold, 91 rated cards. I mean, they're, they might be going out of packs, right? A TOTS or a team of the year, Benzema. A team of the season, Lewandowski, could very easily be in this next batch of best of cards. So maybe you stock a couple of those. That could be a good way to make some coins uh, because those could be going up after this SBC releases. But let's be honest, guys, the amount of people we can get all excited about this. We can get really pumped for it. The amount of people that are actually going to be able to get this SBC done is not going to be that many because it's August. And how many of us are, number one, going to have the coins, the facilities to get that done, but also want to put in the grind to get that done at this stage of the game i understand so from some of you guys are looking at that leak and like man that's a sick card but like i can't do it you know i totally get that but like i said as well this is the best time of the game for ea to drop an sbc like that i think it's gonna be five million coins i hope it's a little bit less ea make it the cheapest ronaldinho you ever released as an sbc cheaper than the prime if you did the prime sbc it probably feels like I don't know, EA's kind of stabbing you in the back a little bit because you're like, man, I just spent 4 million coins doing this Prime Dino that I was going to hold on to for the rest of the year. And oh, now there's going to be like a 96, 97, or 98 rated Reynoldinho. Wow, okay, thanks EA. You know, that sort of thing. So hopefully they make it a reasonable price, but it's going to be expensive um, regardless. Just be careful with the fodder. It's going to take a lot of squads, a lot of high rateds, and maybe there's a shout out there for keeping a hold of a few winter wild cards or centurions just in case they start to require different special cards as a part of that SBC, which is very, very possible. That's another thing to watch out for. If you saw the requirements for that in Dino, I would wait to invest until then, or just maybe hold on to a couple of those out of pack special cards from batch one specifically, like the winter wild cards, the centurions, stuff like that, that EA could maybe require later on. Just make sure you have a couple of those in the club so you're set for it. So guys, talking about this Dino just a tiny bit more. I know we've talked about it a lot already, but it's just such a massive leak, right? And I mean, we need some other ones for cover stars as well. Like Wayne Rooney would be a perfect cover star they could throw in here. Uh, Thierry Henry, even though he just had a shapeshifter, could be another great card they could release as a cover star icon. There's a lot of cover stars. Keep dropping them EA, right? Keep dropping them. This Dino is amazing. Keep giving us some more of them. So uh, this card right here, right? This team of the year, Dino, he's in packs till Friday. If you're like, not nah, Nate, I can't do the SBC, but I want to wait and see what happens when the SBC comes out. This Dino card, if the SBC is more than 5 million coins for the new one, I think this team of the year version would probably have a bit of a bounce back in price and it would go up a little bit. The panic selling note might continue because it's still 3.2 million coins and this new one is going to be pretty insane. And of course, whenever a new card gets an SBC and there's a better version out on SBC instead of the market, the one on the market does end up taking a hit. So that's just a crazy SBC leak, guys. Did not expect that one at all yesterday. And maybe we get more leaks today about footies team number three, because of course, Messi and all those guys like Royce, Yaya Turi that are in packs right now, those are going out of packs tomorrow on Friday. We're going to have new cards coming in. So watch those leaks and watch that information today maybe a loading screen as well who knows now speaking of today let's move on and talk about a few more things happening in the here and now in ultimate team first of all division rivals rewards the reason i'm talking about this is there's never been a time better besides the first week of the game to take tradable division rivals rewards packs you know like nate nah man i need the fodder i need the extra packs if you need coins Think about it. Every time you pack an 82 in this game right now, 3,000 coins. Every time you pack an 80 or an 81 rated card, 
over a thousand coins. 83s are 4k, 85s are 10,000 coins almost, 86s were 11 to 12k. If you're packing fodder right now, even if you're packing regular gold cards, they're just going for so much. There's never been a better time to just open tradable packs, league SBCs. Um, if you can do like BPM to the silver upgrade to get those gold cards to do the league SBCs for pretty cheap, you can make a lot of coins right now just like building packs and, and opening tradable packs if you can get them for cheap ways because of how many coins are out there on those golds because of all the fodder that you need. So just kind of something to think about today. Also with Rivals Rewards, Thursdays are now XP days. We got this Footies Week 2 um, objective set last Thursday. Watch out for this coming again today a week three set with more xp should be dropping today on this game as well as the refresh of the weekly objectives this refreshes at division rivals rewards time guys so if you have not completed your weekly objectives make sure you get them done before rivals if you can because for me last week this didn't reset because i didn't get it done until after rivals and it it kind of like glitched me to the next reset period which is today on thursday so uh, make sure you get all those done before rivals if you can and then we'll get a new reset of that xp in the game today as well i mean xp on thursdays is kind of the new thing we'll get some tomorrow on friday as well but today should be a day if you've got time to grind xp out you should be able to get level i think 20 i think level 20 with all the xp that could be dropping today might be possible which would be just in time for a Ronaldinho SBC, an 84 times 25 would be a nice pack to have to pack some footies and to get some fodder from that. Now, last Thursday as well, we had a random player SBC. How many of you guys remember Galino? He was dropped last Thursday, no leaks, just absolutely random, 99 pace Galino SBC. Maybe there's something along those lines coming today. There's no official leaks uh, besides that Ronaldinho right now in this game for a player SBC. So just keep a watch out. There could be something coming. It could be a surprise. There could be a leak. Who knows? But maybe a random player SBC could be dropped today as well. And guys, we got to talk about the market a little bit more. We talked about fodder. We talked about at least a quick couple words about investing in it. Today with Division Rivals Rewards, um, I think a good amount of people are going to take the tradable rewards. And I do think you're going to see today, maybe before the content drop, some of your fodder prices is dr uh, dropping. It might actually be a really good opportunity if you're trying to make a few coins here or there before Friday, before all the new footy stuff comes out. 86s were all like 12 and a half K yesterday. It might be a good opportunity today with uh, rivals rewards to get on some open bids, to get on some snipes and to buy some fodder. I could see prices being low today in the daytime before we get to content on fodder as people take division rivals rewards, get those cards. Um, you know, they could rise up a little bit as we get towards content as people uh, are done opening their rivals rewards. Um, but that's one thing to kind of watch out for. There could be an opportunity to trade in the short term today with fodder, buying fodder before content and selling it afterwards, like we've been doing almost every single day. You can see every day these cards just continue to spike in price at content. Yesterday, Mason Mount from 4.9K all the way to 6.9, thousand coins. And right now he's back down to 6K. Some 84s were crazy high, 85s, 86s. Even the 83s were all above 4,000 coins apiece crazy prices on fodder and it fluctuates every single day of course we've got the 85 times 10 the 86 plus player pick all of our daily sbcs that refresh every single day are refreshing once again today even like the 87 times 10 best of batch one player pick is refreshing today so a lot of content again just refreshing as we have every day and that's going to make fodder prices move and then once again if you're trying to invest for a ronaldinho I think today, maybe if you want to just stock a couple cards in the club, could be a decent idea. But also, waiting until Friday could be a move as well. The only cards I worry about waiting till Friday on would maybe be some of your like 93, 94, 95s. Like level up cards, probably not going to be in packs. Shapeshifters, probably not going to be in packs for a best of batch two. Um, and I'm just hoping that maybe some of the other 93, 94, 95s would drop in price. Because let's, let's say Tots Harry Kane is in packs or... Tots, Medina, Brownhill, Akpom, some of these like cheaper 95 and 94 rated cards, they're going to drop in price and it could drag some other ones down with it in that same rating range. So I'm a little more hesitant to buy fodder right now. I'd almost just, I'd almost just rather wait until we see what Dino is like, see who's in packs for batch number two, and then go from there um, on most of the fodder investing especially on the top tier. But I do understand I wanted to get some cards in the club before Ronaldinho comes out if you plan to do the SBC 
right away. Now, speaking once again, we've been kind of mentioning it. We've been talking about it. But as we head towards Friday, I want to give you guys just another warning. Be careful with team of the season cards, guys. Be careful with Todd's cards because their prices are probably going to start falling even more today as we get closer and closer to undoubtedly a lot of these cards getting re-released into packs as a part of a best of. Now, I would expect team of the years, team of the seasons to both be a part of this best of. Um, and if like, like, let's say team of the year, Messi gets in packs, right? The team of the year, Messi is going to drop from 1.8 million coins, probably to like a mil, maybe even go under that. He's going to get supplied. He's going to get packed. The price is going to drop a lot, but at the same time, since the team of the season card is so similar to that team of the year card, this one's probably going to end up dropping as well. And with a lot of these middle to high tier tots cards dropping in value, that is just going to drag a lot of the market down with it. So once again, be careful with team of the season guys uh and maybe even some of the cards from other promos that happened in the second half of the year maybe like future stars excuse me future stars for birthday if, if you have any of those trophy titans maybe in your team that are tradable keep an eye out on those and be careful with those because there could be some falling prices if anything gets re-released back into packs you guys know look at dino look at like the centurions cards that held some value like zlatan right all those cards just drop 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 over the past two weeks because they were in packs and getting supply every single day so you might start to see some movements on those prices today i gotta sell like my militao tried to make the flip out of that one i'm gonna probably end up um, hopefully just losing like 10 or 20 K on this. If I can get a, a okay sale, a lot of the other center backs that we traded with early in the week, they did, they did bits, right? We made good coins on Militao, Marquinhos and Kunde. Um, but this Edward Militao looks like he might be a slight little bit of a tax loss or, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to sell him for like 1.03 and just get the money out because then I'll have that money back and uh, I'll be able to look at things going forward on the market and maybe make a few coins here or there and also do my last few SPCs. To try to pack Messi. I'm trying. I'm doing my best, but we haven't quite gotten there just yet. So again, crazy, crazy leak with the Ronaldinho. Watch out for that coming soon. Probably on Friday. I know we didn't talk about a potential release date for that. Friday, Saturday, sometime really, really soon would be very, very possible for that DM SBC. And wow, what a day of content that will be when it drops from EA. GG's to EA for dropping insane content. Just make it decently affordable craftable for those that want to grind at this stage of the game if you guys enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new see you guys in a video tomorrow and in stream it today it's been nathan for the count and catch you guys there peace